Trends are always changing, and if you're looking for ways to update your home, we have some ideas for you this morning. And the Valley Today's Abby Birchner is live to show us the latest trends when it comes to home decor. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, guys. I will be the first to admit that my Pinterest board, I have a future dream home P Pinterest board, and it is just a mess of different things. But when people come in, what do you think that they should focus on when it comes to trends? Um, I think that they should really focus on um, what they really love, what they're interested in, and what um, really uh, what they really gravitate towards. Um, and that that can be... Um, just by um, a pillow that they like or um, maybe a, a, a type of uh, sofa that they love um, or a lamp. It can be even smaller objects than that, and that'll kind of help um, a person decide what trend they need to be looking at to um, decorate their home. Right, and so you can really just start with anything and make right. it and tie in an entire room. And I'm going to go with Leah here. And when it comes to paints and wallpapers, you know, what type of colors do you think mesh well together? Well, starting with um, your favorite neutral as the backdrop and then adding pops of accent color. So right now, as most people know, um, gray is the new tan. <laughs> gray has been the most popular neutral color for the last several years, and it's not losing any ground. So I think gray will be very popular for the next several years. Um, and even moving into a warmer gray, because not everybody is a, likes cool colors, mm. especially in this climate when our winters get so cold and kind of right. desolate. People still like to have warmth in their homes, um, but they still want to be on trend. So grayish, a gray beige, which is a warm gray, has also become a very popular color for a neutral backdrop. And then adding whatever pops of accent color that you love, um, you know, grays and even tans, um, again, are very neutral that you can add pops of blue, pops of green, pops of red and orange. Um, so it's just whatever colors you like, but starting with that neutral base for your main wall color and like your furniture um, helps give you just a clean palette to add your pops of accent. And then you can kind of, with the decor, if you have a neutral base, you can really tie in those, like you said, those more fun pops of color. And we actually have a few pieces that we're going to be showing you guys here in a few minutes just to really bring in that entire room. I like that you're going to talk about, you know, first just taking those baby steps because you talked earlier about just a pillow or maybe a yep. few pieces. You well, start that way. And it's hard to do. I mean, who has the money sitting around to do a whole right. home renovation? You know? Okay, I'm ready. Here's $10,000. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> More like $10. So little things. All right. <laughs> Abby Furchner reporting live. Thank you very much.